Drew. Jeff. This is Project Cars. Is that an acronym? Community Assisted Racing Simulator, I think. It's a crowdfunded driving game. Okay, I'm uh, gonna call that a backronym. Yeah, maybe, maybe, from uh, Slightly Mad Studios. Finally out. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they took a lot of money along the way uh, to get to this point, and now it is uh, gonna be on sale for uh, on Steam literally hours from our recording this. Really? Yeah. Uh, for 50 bucks. Okay. I've been, uh, I have not played this, but I have been following uh, updates sporadically. Yeah. In text form. Uh huh. Text updates. Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, yeah. It's, uh, you know, it is a racing simulator. It seems like that they have gone out of their way to try to make it uh, appealing to drivers of different expectations and skill levels. You know, you think about, you know, kind of how far, I mean, well, you, you know better than, than I do how far. Racing games on the PC can go. Oh, sure. Track IR support, mm -hmm. uh, you know, big cockpit setups, all that sort of stuff. Laser scan yeah. tracks. Uh, but then you think about it in terms of, like, well, there are players that play driving games on consoles that, you know, are playing with a gamepad and that sort of stuff. And they've they've made an experience that I think works for those, for players like myself, uh -huh. uh, who might be looking for a non-racing wheel uh, sort of driving game. I like to think of it as a spectrum. You know, on one end you got Mario Kart, and the other end you've got, uh, you know, eye racing. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. This is not. This is not going to be good for people who love Mario Kart. I think. Okay. But, uh, but you know, somewhere to the right of Mario Kart is where it'll pick up, and uh, how far over towards the right it goes. Uh, I'm not actually the person to speak to that. Okay. Uh, but we have Race Central here. We kind of get right in. Uh, this game, um, you know, we we can just kind of get into kind of just like the nitty gritty. Here are the, here are the tracks. Okay, I recognize a lot of those. Yeah, Road America, uh, you know, Silverstone, Sonoma Raceway, mm -hmm. the local Glen. Little, little local business there. Ooh, that's right, yeah. Um, and these are all officially licensed, it looks like. Nurburgring, Nurburgring those are real yeah, things. Uh, yeah. uh, Brands Hatch, sure, yeah. Autodromo. California Long Highway, there are highways in California. I, I don't know if you know that, but that's, that's definitely true. Wow. Okay. Actually, I kind of want to see I'd just been doing kind of standard tracks before. I hadn't necessarily seen. I, maybe maybe we'll start there. Okay. Uh, and then vehicles. Uh, the game seems uh, slanted primarily towards kind of non-road cars. We you know we have this one here. Okay. But you know there there are a handful. But I, it seems like that there's definitely. But mostly there's a lot of spoilers. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a lot of, of like yes junk with a bunch of stuff bolted onto it. I guess right. Uh -huh. Like that's body kits. Yeah. Though th that's. That's my favorite stuff. Mm -hmm. When you get to the the aerials and uh, Aston Martins and the the high end kind of race car versions, like you know, that's a Mustang Cobra. And they'll say, no, it's not. That's when I think about a Mustang. That's you know, <laughs> uh, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, Formula A, B, and C cars, uh, McLarens, Mercedes, Pagani, that sort of stuff. Sure. So I don't necessarily have a favorite car of this bunch. Is there anyone in particular that you? Uh, Want to see oh here, or um, I'm gonna take it on. I'm gonna go I'm for just, it. Let's just, let's let's how about this 125? What the hell? Maybe it does skew a little Mario Kart. It's got 125 and 250 wow. CC. So that's look. Throwing some turtle shells will be good to go. Um, I'm gonna do like a like a BMW or an Audi R8 or something. Yeah, yeah. Let's take. A, let's see the Audis here. Yeah. We've got an LMS Ultra and the V10 Plus. I'm going to go with the V10 Plus. Sure. Uh, I, I, I like these Audis. I know oh, that car to be in Forza. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's a cool car. All right, let's race. The full California Highway. Yeah. Number one. Beautiful. 12.83 miles, 107 turns. That's a lot of turns. I think we could have taken just a stage of this if we wanted to. Okay. But, uh, well, if we get bored, we just quit. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's got online support. It's got a career mode, which I haven't really delved into yet. Um, it's got cockpits. Yes, it does. So I'll leave on for a bit here, but honestly, the last thing I want to do is drive with a cockpit. I mean, they're for crazy people, I'll admit. Uh, but it's how I prefer to do it. Yeah, I, I want to see. The, I want to see the road. I want to see what I'm doing. I want to mm -hmm. see what's going on where the the dashboard is. What's going on down there? Uh, yeah, and where other people are. Yep. Whoa! Okay. Whoa! Okay, that... Uh, contact, lap time invalidated. Well, all right. 
Uh, you know, this doesn't have like a Forza style rewind as far as I know. Uh, you know, that's just fine. Games don't necessarily have to have that. Uh, and this is the amateur setting. Uh, when you first boot it up, it'll ask you for novice, amateur, and kind of standard, I guess. I, I forget what the, the high-end one's called. But it's levels of driving assistance and, uh, you know, turning and braking assistance and stuff like that. Um, you know, that's that's fully configurable after the fact, but it kind of, you know, will we'll set up a baseline for you uh, in terms of how realistic you want your damage to be in terms of fuel consumption, tire wear, damage, uh, and that sort of thing. Okay. Do you get... Um is there a, a currency system built in? Like, or do you get bonuses for turning off assists? It doesn't seem Anything like there's, like you know, there's a career mode, and you'll have to do well there, I imagine, to, you know, have a good career. But uh, but in terms of the rest of it, it, it seems like the cars are just available. It's not like, you know, earn currency to unlock more vehicles or do better at this. Like, it doesn't seem like it's that kind of game. Got it. Uh, and the careers are structured in such a way that they are, like, they're meant, they're meant to be repeatable, and, and oh there boy. are three different careers, basically. Um, man, maybe I should have picked novice, huh? <laughs> I'm spinning out a little bit. Three All different right, careers, like disciplines? I think so. Okay. Uh, okay, we, so we have this cockpit view. I like that. And then we start to get outside the car. Okay. All right, damage modeling. At least cosmetically, do you know if it models physically as well? Uh, it will do both. Okay. Uh, you have the option to, to set whatever you like for that. Is this Jeff view? This is, uh, yeah. For a driving game that I'm going to try to take somewhat seriously, this is this is my view. Okay. Uh, for a Need for Speed game or something like that, I'm going behind the car. Okay. You know? Oh, jeez. Oh boy. Hello. Yeah. Hi. Hi. I'm not I'm becoming. Here. I'm not okay. becoming clear so that other racers may drive through me. I am. It is. <laughs> You're not. It does not have that feature. Not reached OT4? Yeah. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Coming in a little hot. Okay. Uh, so this, this is not uh, turned all the way up. This is uh, a little more optimized, kind of, I think, for our setup here. Where, you know, Graphically, you mean? Yeah, we've okay. kind of said in a couple of places, like, we're probably overdue. This is a 670. Okay. In this machine, um, that thing's old at this point. Like we should really, we should have a 980 in this thing. At this point, I'm all for that. I have one at home. It looks uh, very nice. I do prefer to play to, to, to capitalize or to prioritize rather uh, frame rate in racing games. Absolutely. Over prettiness, but uh, this looks pretty good. Yeah, this this will this will do both uh, if you feed enough hardware. Obviously. Sure. It's, Excuse me. You know, I already made contact and validated my lap time. I might as well just go for it, right? Yeah, absolutely. Let's see what other views we've got here. It's on the X button on this default controller setup. Oh, okay. <laughs> I seem to be missing a key part of my car. Well, maybe not that key. I mean, we're still moving. Very true. Do you, do you have it behind the car, do you? Yeah, Y button will do that. No, I mean like a, uh, like a helicopter view. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, okay. How's it feel? It feels uh, good. It, I mean, right now it feels a little squirrely. This is maybe a little less assistance than I typically go with. Uh, when I'm first starting out on a game, like, you know, I'm, I'm not... I kind of start every Forza game, for example, uh, with uh, a lot more assistance than I have turned on when I'm done with a Forza game, you know? Okay. Kind of wean myself off it all over again, because I don't, I don't necessarily play a ton of driving games like this to where I've just, like, got it cold 100% of the time. So right. this is this is a little further in uh, lower levels of assistance than I would be at, you know, kind of once I got used to the, the more novice levels, I guess. Sure, so, yeah. So I'm skidding out a little bit more than, than I should be, but there you go. I'm, uh, I'm going to assume that this is... Okay. <laughs> yes. Nice move. Some Ridge Racer N64 action right there. <laughs> Just whip it around. I'm going to assume this is a fantasy track. Uh, yeah, I mean, it says it's Highway 1, but yeah, I'm going to say you're probably right. Whoa. Um, but that's cool. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, you, you want a good mix, right? If... If you're only doing realistic tracks, like so many games have done those tracks so well that you're kind of limited, you know? It's like, okay, I, like I know what these tracks feel like. I have driven them in countless other games. 
Like, I want something different. You know, right. I don't I don't want to just see like, well, can I set a better lap time on this version of the Nurburgring? Like, that's that holds no appeal for me. Right. Um, but at the same time, like those are standards and constants that the games probably should have, right? That's it's a tricky balance, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it's it's good to uh, it's, it's a good way to to compare them oh, yeah, to that, each other. Yeah, that, that's that's also true. This car is, I think, taking some damage as I am uh, not necessarily going in a straight line particularly right. easily here. Mm. Oh, the racing line has changed color, my friend. Oh, no. There we go. Okay. Okay, that's... That was an interesting little roll there. <laughs> a lot of racing games like this uh, have real nice physics when you're on the ground. Uh-huh. Uh, but not, once things you know, go airborne... They don't necessarily model that. All bets are off, yeah. If they modeled it too well, then people would spend too much time crashing. Yeah. There we go. Well, okay. Yeah, let's just... Okay, well... Uh, there we go. I got an achievement for not needing roads. <laughs> That's uh, or well, much of anything else apparently. Interesting. Okay. Do you have like a reset, or do you have a rewind, perhaps? Uh, if I hit the back button, it will reset. I don't believe there's a rewind. All right, so we're sixty-one percent through this track. Maybe we we'll take off out of here sure. and and you know skip to end of session. What's that going to do for us? Uh, okay. All right. Let's return to Race Central. Slightly Mad. Who are those guys? Uh, slightly Mad has done other racing. I believe they did Need for Speed Shift. Ah, Which yes. uh, was a slightly more serious, uh, or a, more, uh, a little too serious Need for, for Need for Speed. Yeah, like, it di I didn't really feel like it matched the brand yeah. so much. Yeah, for sure. And it didn't seem like a terrific simulator-style game either. Um, mm. Well, um, you want to hit, hit the, you know, like a track that we'll be familiar with to a certain extent of how it's supposed to look? Uh, sure. Uh, I, actually, I think I'm more familiar with the Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca up there. Okay, let's take a look at Laguna Seca. Uh, change out vehicles here. Mm. Let's go... Uh, I'm at that... Uh, mm. Mm. That's a cool looking car. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Uh, it loads up some records. Should get some uh, some open wheel racing going eventually. Sure. You know me. Mm -hmm. I am open wheel racing. <laughs> I maybe should have set the assistance a little bit higher before we jump back in. But hey, you can't do that on the fly. I don't believe so. Make up for quality. All right, so this has a full race weekend. You can do practice, yep. qualifying, and racing. Because you just picked race, it sets you, what, in the middle of the pack? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. Oh, boy. There you go. Sure. Uh, pretty good controller vibration, you know. All right. Um, Do you know if it supports uh, force feedback and triggers on Xbox One? Uh, no, nothing. Nothing does, does that yet. Okay. There's a there's a standard that has to change uh, on the controller driver end before that uh, before that can happen. But I think Windows 10 will be the thing that starts opening that up for more people. Okay. How much is this game? Fifty bucks. Okay. Uh, any plans for DLC that you know of? Uh, I think they've, I don't know if we have access to it here, but it's, it's you know, because they've been kind of letting people play it for a long time in different formats, it's like, you know, different levels of backing got access to different things, and it's it's a little, I'm a little unclear on what the final product is, but there was, a, oh jeez, there was like a loading screen tool tip talking about, you know, the Legendary Edition has five more cars, you know, something like that. So, uh, they've got a DLC tab on the Steam store, but as of yet, there's nothing there. Okay. Um, but I would expect them to expand upon this as time goes on. There we go. Okay, now I remember this track. Oh, it's yeah. that turn right there that I'm yep. like, oh, right. Okay. Ugh. Ch 
Jesus. Oh boy. Yep. Yeah, I'm just uh, too greedy on these turns. Yeah, I feel like there's there's two ways to do the assist thing. Either you slowly wean your way off of it, uh -huh. um, or you take them all off and just dive in and like force yourself to play uh, very conservatively. And like, it'll be really, really hard for the first few hours, but eventually your lap times will just get better and better. Sure. Uh, it's just a matter of how much time do you want to devote until yeah, you can actually, yeah. you know, keep up with the AI. All right, this is a, a, a faithful recreation. Yeah. All right, let's head out of this. Okay. Uh, so I, I noticed your career mode is locked. Yeah, I believe that. so. We have to go start a new career here uh, oh, before the, before that'll happen. So we can go over to new career. I see. And it'll. Uh, I'm gonna have to, Jimmy. Uh, wheels. Yep. yep. Uh, I guess I have to go with WMD underscore as my nickname. Uh, I don't really get why that would. That's that's me. You got that WMD. Uh, we're from Estonia. Mm -hmm. We're car number. Do they have more than a hundred? Can you be a future car? No. What? 89. Now choose from one of the many starting points for your career. Oh, the, the first time you get into these menus, it'll, the it has this little speech bit. Okay. You, you can kind of button past it. Tier 1. Uh, yeah, so or, if you have a full beard, you can go right to Tier 1. Okay. Uh, otherwise, you know, there's a lot of tiers in between here and there. Prototypes. What's we got here? GT. Cart 1, Super Cart. Oh, so that's... All right, top, top row is, is uh, open wheel. Uh huh. Uh, second row is touring cars, and you got prototypes. And, and then you got coming Le, soon. Le Mans on the right. Well, should we try a little open wheel? Yeah, sure. All right. Um, should I start at cart one and start at the yeah, very bottom? I'd, I'd here? like to see uh, some carts, actually. Okay. A team is interested in hiring you as a driver. A lot of Formula One drivers Take get their start in karting. Mm -hmm. so like it's just one of those things that you know they start doing when they're like four years old. Right? right. Yeah. Okay. There's Torque Riders from 2009, or a slightly newer team, Dark Nitro. Dark Nitro. Um, let's see here. I guess that doesn't seem like there's any. Uh, this was a Spanish team. This is the UK. Let's go with Dark Nitro. Yeah. Sounds like Welcome the sequel to, the to Kiss Psycho races. Circus. Yeah. This is where many successful racing champions started out, and a great place to learn the basic yeah, principles yeah, of competitive yeah. racing. You'll start out in a short national series, followed by the entry... Career modes are useful uh, for games like this because sprint race and a main race. if you're like, I don't points know any of these tracks, but I want something good for carts, this is... Like, yeah, it'll, it'll kind of feed you that stuff, yeah. Time ...and fastest race lap time. The pit lane is open for refueling, repairs, and tires. As fun as it would be to take one of these little guys over the Nürburgring. Sure. Career. Someone must have done that. Sure. Surely. Your career dashboard. I think the Nürburgring is just open you for can people. They can, you can just sign up and drive your car on it. various motorsport seasons that are currently running and see what your fans okay. are talking about. Tempted to buy a WMD underscore open wheel racing t-shirt, but I think I'll wait until after the first race. Thanks, Sean Jeezy. Good to know. <laughs> this is weird. Um, okay, so... This is where contract offers, invitation... Okay, so they do have... Yeah. Yeah. Career type stuff. You can... Yeah. This tab shows results. Okay. Okay. Um, well, it looks like we go to car setup. Uh, or no, calendar, the I guess. The career calendar shows the championships, series, and events for all... I would all like to see what, what kind of settings there are for here. a cart. Right. Okay. All right. Um, Here you can see all the sessions that take place on this day. Okay, it's a, the UK Cart Nationals. Mm -hmm. You made Nationals. Congrats. Yeah, thanks. Uh, and that's uh, the Sprint Race Main Race. We can't. S yeah, there are two sessions. We can't enter this other one. So let's okay. let's enter. Sprint it. This one. Glen Karen. 
14 sounds, turns, 0 0.31 miles. Sounds pretty British. Yeah. Okay, this is your first career race. Vehicle setup, change tires, and a pitting any strategy. Oh, wow. Setup. Boy. I wonder what that is. Well, here's our pit strategy. <laughs> Default, active, yes. Yes. Hmm. Okay. Pit stop estimation. Yeah. Oh, so it's like what you want to do. Yeah. And how long that'll take. Wow. All right. This <laughs> this is a this is intense, but cool. Uh, I'll just leave that at the default. Our tuning uh -huh. setup, uh, tire, tire compound, pressure. automatic or weather, t traction control, slip. Uh, can you like write bumper to go? Yes. I don't even know what spindle is. FZ scale, MZ scale, FX smoothing. FY smoothing. Oh. Uh, refers, the spindle refers to the front wheel steering axis with the master scale determining the magnitude for how tire forces are represented through the force feedback. So I think that's actually like more about your controller. You know, in the original game, they just give you the master scale right up front. Yeah. You don't have to work for it. Yeah. Uh, Holy cow. <laughs> so here's our tuning, here's our summary of our tuning setup. Ooh. That all sounds good to me. Yeah, it looks good, Jeff. Uh, format and regulations. Grid is uh, placement randomly decided. Main race is from the finishing position in the sprint race. Uh, each standing start for the sprint race, rolling start for the main race. Top eight finishers receive points. Fastest lap for bonus points uh, for fastest lap. All right. I wonder if that's how real karting works. All right, Jimmy Wheels. J Dub, getting it done. Look, Look at his foot. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Whoa, 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 uh, whoa. My lap time's been invalidated. Already been off the track. Man, this is <laughs> intense. I like how the only, like, one of the few indicators you get of the sense of scale difference between this and actual cars is how big the driving line arrows are. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Check his, his, oh! Whoa! Just oh, to man. scale, like your cart is taking up a similar amount of the track. Right. But. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what kind of camera views you got here? Oh, that's cool. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I drove up that guy. <laughs> okay, I'm sold. That's pretty good. Yeah, that is pretty good. Give it wheels. Ninth place. Ninth place. Status on track. Here you can see the race results. Thanks, lady. I got zero points. Cedric Cruz. So we're finishing out of the top eight. Andre Serrano. Frank Pabst. Jeremy Montbute. All right, uh, race two. Let's just jump in. Rolling uh, start. Oh, GoPro cam. Nice. There you go. You ever driven one of these things? Not. Uh, probably not. Whoa. I mean, I've been to like go kart tracks and raced some types of carts, but mm -hmm. the Scandia. Yeah. You know, slick track. Uh, actually, up the street from the Scandia, there's a, a linens and things that's been converted into an indoor go-kart track. Really? Uh, that's pretty good. There's an indoor go-kart track, I think, in South San Francisco, but it's electric carts. So, I don't I think, know. I imagine that these all, all these indoor carts are probably electric as well. Oh, yeah, it being indoor. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, oh. I don't know about that. Uh, you know, there was a decent feel of speed to them you know it's one of those things where it's like you know you're not like necessarily racing so it's like you know it's just someone brought a date and no one's passing each other and no one's really jockeying for position or coming off the line at the same time which is just kind of like here race for a while i don't know drive around have fun well, where's the fun in that jeff i imagine the people who work there after hours probably get up some hijinks oh yeah like chicken sure
Getting a feel for the cart? A little bit, yeah. I've heard uh, F1 racers say to this day, like, that karting was the most pure racing they've ever done. Hmm. Because it's like, you don't have to worry about uh, sponsorship or right. politics yeah. or anything. It's just racing. Show up and race. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it feels nice. Cool. I, I feel like a lot of games, if they include karting, it's sort of an afterthought. Uh, but for a game like this, I feel like they would do right by it. So it's good to, good to see that there. Oh, yeah. It's fun. So, yeah, we did not finish. Uh, well, we finished ninth. Okay. There, so. We'll return to our career dashboard and see what that means. It's, it's a, a bad start to my career, so. Wheels was so slow out there, I was going to send a search party. Thought they were lost. Oh. No. Oh. They. Oh, well. Andre Serrano, victorious. We'll see what they, uh, it's a shame, good race. Let's regroup tomorrow and, de and debrief on what went wrong. I wonder if they actually show you a debrief. Yeah, let's, let's, uh, well, let's go to the calendar and see what happens. Okay, so it's just, no, it looks like it's just calendared up to the next event. Next. It'd be cool, uh... With no additional inbox stuff, so, hmm. I'm sure there are games out there that do this, but I can't, I don't know directly of any, but, like, it'd be cool to see... Like, oh, you're, you're losing time in this corner, you know? Uh, right, yeah. You should, you should be more flat out here or something like that. Uh-huh. Okay, so here's your assistance. Yeah, tire Steering, wear slow, braking. fuel usage slow. Auto start engine, yes. <laughs> yeah, it looks like all the assistance is, is, is on, so maybe ABS I'm just driving ability, like garbage. Traction. Maybe all my failures are, in fact, actually on me. But actually, I mean, I should probably start with this stuff on, too, because I'm sure. Certain. Right, but that stuff is my least favorite. Uh, yeah, steering, steering and braking assistance. Like, it's just on, like, man. what are you doing? Um, yeah, there's a. Okay, so we've got a handful of online uh, races happening so far here. Like I said, the game is still like an hour or so away from coming out, so we'll see kind of what happens. Uh, I mean, let's just try to join one and see. Oh, well, that's delightful. Uh, all right, this one is open. Waiting for 17 more players. Yeah. Well. Okay. Uh, yeah, and see, the, the race host can determine things, interior, you know, forced restrictions when it comes to, uh, you know, full damage, mechanical failures, tire nice. wear, rolling start, you know, like, like that sort of stuff. Um, Come back here often to see what community events are currently being run. Okay. Okay, so it looks like they're going to build some leaderboards and some different events and stuff that'll be time-limited as, as, uh, as time goes on. That's cool. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I'd be curious to see you kind of take this on with, like, a more dedicated racing setup. Do you know if it supports track IR? It does. Okay. And racing wheels, In, in sure. some form, I believe. Um, and, yes, racing wheels, I'm sure. Uh, also, apparently it's, or, you know, uh, earlier versions of this did. I, I don't know. I can't say for sure because I haven't tried it myself, but... Apparently, it has fairly good Oculus Rift support for really? even, like, the Dev Kit 2 model. Wow. Um, so, it seems like that they have kind of tried to include some of that stuff in here as well. All right. So, that's, uh, that's kind of cool. Um, let's see here. Uh, go out on any one of these last uh, events here? Anything? Uh, yeah, let's see here. Um, I know... We can do Monza, the very top one. That's a classic. All right. Uh, do, wait, do they have Monaco? Uh, would it just be called Monaco, or would it have some kind of weird name now? I don't know the official... Um, I'm not seeing it. Yeah. But let's... We could do Monza, we could do Sonoma. Although, you know, it sort of looks similar to uh, Laguna Seca. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, let's, let's do Monza. Monza. Alright. Uh, pick a car here. Let's see. Let's do some weird open wheel stuff. Okay. Form, uh, formula something. Formula something. A, B, or C. What do you say? Uh, A. All right. Yeah. Autodromo. Let's see. Let's see. Yep. 
That's how that's pronounced. Mm -hmm. Fluent tone. There we go. Oh, jeez. Okay. That's... Boy, that's, yeah, it's the old, it's the old F1 sound. Yep. Whoa! Cars sound different these days. They do. Ah! Okay. We're cool. No, we're not cool. <laughs> Good sense of speed. Yeah. Uh, I can, you know, right stick to get a little, mm -hmm. a little bit of this, which I imagine is sort of what track IR would probably do, maybe yeah. a little more smoothly. But uh... oh, we've got a helmet, helmet really, view here too. I really dig this. <laughs> yeah, that's. Yeah, maybe that'd be good for with a VR helmet or something. Be real crazy. Anyway, that's uh. You want to give it a shot? Go right ahead. Um, I'll pass this up to you. Uh, yeah, maybe get around to the start. Or I could just restart. Okay. Works for me. Okay. Here, I'll, I'm going to toss this controller okay. and hopefully not break that iPad uh -huh. you have there. Yeah. There you go. Sure, you want to restart? Yes, I do. Right? Yeah, uh, Y to look behind you. And uh, triggers. Uh... Green, green, green. Okay, yeah, I see what you mean. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Good depth of field. Yeah. Hey, fellas. How we all doing? Wow. -y. And that is with the assistance turned on. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Yep. Uh-huh. I'm really uh really living up to my as racing man. As racing man, yeah. Well, Jeff, it's because I'm not using my wheel. You know? Oh, yeah, of course. This control is an inferior uh, input device. Oh, yep. Whatever, man. In my favorite open wheel racing game, a lot of people just use the keyboard. Mm. What, would, what would be your favorite then? Trackmania. There you go. In the stadium specifically, that's the open wheel one. You know? Oh, sure. It's interesting. This, uh, this camera view, I don't know if. The other ones did it. I didn't, reckon, or I didn't realize it, but um, your view turns to see the upcoming turn. Your head oh, turns right. yeah. subtly. Oh, this is... Yeah, see that? Yep. That's cool. Try uh, when you get on some straightaway here. Monkey around with the right stick a little bit and see if the. Okay, yeah. I want to see if the helmet viewpoint moved with you as you turned, or how that ended up looking. Hmm. Cool. Yeah. This, uh, this feels very intense, but um, it's, a, it's a big package. Yeah, it seems like it's got a lot to it. Um, I'll, I'll be curious to see how they expand upon it and stuff like that, like what type of cars they add. Like I said, it's you know, the, the cars on their roster right now are not normally the things that, the, the sorts of vehicles that kind of get me excited in, in a driving game, but... Uh, what would get you excited, Jeff? You know, just... A, a, like, ice cream truck? Yeah, yeah, ice cream truck, yeah, a beat-up Corolla. Mm -hmm. Now I want, like, you know, a Ranchero. Right. Uh, you know, I want... Uh, Something you know. 280Zs, you know, just like, like yeah, exactly, like, kind of just... 
standard production vehicles, uh, often enhanced by aftermarket parts. Sure. Like, stuff like this is fun, but, like, it's sort of unfathomable to... Yeah, it's not as relatable as, as like... Knows. Yeah, yeah. So I, I, I like it when they put, you know, just kind of just everyday cars into driving games like this. Yeah. And you can take your, you know, your Scion and bolt enough crap onto it to make it competitive. Right. That's my type of racing. Cool. All right, well, if this is your type of racing, it is out now. Uh, yeah, by the time anyone sees this, Project Cars will be widely available okay. for purchase on Steam. Uh, 50 bucks. 50 bones. Yeah. Uh, curious to see how the online stuff uh, develops. I played a little bit of it, and yeah, it was, you know, it was another game with all the assistants turned off, so I spun a lot of donuts and went, yeah, maybe I'll come back to this. Cool. All right. Well, thanks, Jeff. Thanks, Drew.